gentlemen, this is the Level 1 class show. Please welcome to the stage your instructor, Dylan Rohde. <laughs> Starting to hear a little bit of it. Starting to hear just a little bit. Uh, this group has been working for seven weeks learning improv. Uh, I believe all of them, or at least most of them, with no experience in improv, they've been doing great. You're really going to love this show. Uh, before I bring them up, uh, I want to mention that we have classes starting all the time. So if you want to do this yourself, or you know somebody who does, or also if you want to learn sketch, you can go to backlinecomedy.com. Uh, there's classes there, there's some shows that uh, you can at least see our online schedule. Um, you also can get gift cards if you're interested in buying someone a class or uh, contributing towards uh, seeing shows in the future. Um, there's also all sorts of things like merchandise. At, uh, all those links are there on our website, backlinecomedy.com. Uh, also, if you're watching this online, feel free to chat. Uh, I'll be watching the chat as this is going on. I might be able to chat along with you. Hopefully, you're really enjoying this. Uh, definitely, the people here, you better be enjoying this. Such a, it's going to be such a good show. This is all going to be made up on the spot. They're going to get a suggestion from you, tell some real life stories, and then they're going to be doing scenes that are made up about those stories. I mean, none of this stuff has been planned. Uh, and are you all ready to see this show? Yeah. Okay, I know there's five people here, but you're going to need to be more excited than that. Okay, there, okay we're getting there. Uh, they are going to be living off of your energy, so you need to allow yourself to laugh, okay? Great. Uh, you're going to really love this group. Please give it up for the experimental treatment! Hey guys, for the experimental treatment. And to start this off, we need one more suggestion on something. Anybody? Anybody here? Give me one more suggestion. First row that comes to mind. Election. Election. <laughs> Alright, election. Three real stories about something related to. So when I was growing up, I was in elementary school and I didn't have many friends. And I was sitting in class and I was kind of putting my head down because the teacher said we had an assignment or something to do. And I didn't have a gun, I was bummed out. And I was kind of resting my head on my arm like this on my desk. And I just exhaled really loudly and it made a loud, 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 large fart noise. And everyone looked at me like, and I was like, no, 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 no. It was just my arm. It was, it was like a Billy Madison thing. And they were like, yeah. And everyone's like, ah, Richard farted. Richard farted. And I low key shed a tear. And uh, I didn't want to show my face ever again in that school. <laughs> uh, when I was in uh, first grade, um, I was at recess. And all of a sudden, I had to poop. <laughs> and I'd never gone outside of the house before. It's like my first row game. <laughs> and I don't know, it took a lot of pacing around the playground to work up the courage to ask the teacher to go. And then when I asked, they were like, oh, of course, you don't have to, you should have just gone, you don't have to ask. And then. Like, by the time I got there, like, my body was just like, well, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I, like, took my pants off, I started going. And, like, I got poop all over my clothes. <laughs> and I go into the office, and I was like, I pooped on the floor in the bathroom. And they were like, oh, just pick it up. Put in the corner. <laughs> uh, I have to say, I can't. It's like water. <laughs> Alright, so we'll hear the story. Um, back the last election uh, in 2016, I remember I was like very 
confused about the whole thing for the trunk and Haley and blah, blah, blah. And I was living in my frat at the time. And I can remember, like, one of the guys asked me, like, hey, like, who you gonna vote for? And it's like a bunch of big, bad, tough, Trump frat guys. And I was like, I don't know, I think I'm gonna vote for Hillary and blah, blah, blah. Like, that kind of seems like a lunatic and whatever. And I can remember just being kind of like ostracized for a few weeks because of not like giving into all this weird group thing. And I don't know, that's when I, I guess I kind of discovered the, I don't know, it was like the first time I sort of like changed my mind into, oh yeah, you actually can think for yourself and kind of have like different opinions from everybody around. Thanks for coming to my office. How are you liking the new job? Uh, I'm actually uh, really enjoying it. Yes, yeah. uh, it was really fun. Look, I'm going to cut to the chase. Your coworkers have been talking. Uh, okay. It seems as if you have a little bit of a, not a little bit, a big of a hygiene problem. <laughs> hey, sir, can you sign it? Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh that's, oh, that's I'll horrible. Sign I'll sign the package later. later. I'll sign the package later. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. We've had complaints from customers. Every time you touch something, it leaves a black smudge. Okay. Well, that's just because I have grease in my hands. It looks like you've been wiping your ass with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my ass. It's... Look, I've been getting a lot of slack from HR. People have been calling you Big Hand. <laughs> that's not such a bad name. I thought it was because they liked me. Dude, look, I know I'm your boss here, but I'm gonna double with that. Every time you leave the room, a smoke cloud just stays for about five seconds and then it's up there. Yeah, I just, I really need uh, Mr. Jones, I have to... I'm trying to have a conversation here! You, you should hear this. <laughs> <laughs> I was reviewing the security footage, and I saw this man wiping his butt with a paper towel <laughs> on the floor. Uh, now you're going to clog the toilets and too. throwing it away in a trash can. Right after I did work, right after I did your promotion. <laughs> Listen, man. Well, this seems like it's more between you guys. <laughs> 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 small, but it grew and grew, and, and then 
pretty soon it was kind of around with us. Hey yeah, guys, yeah. I hope you're enjoying the uh, 05 uh, Legendary Park Museum. We're, we're really glad to have you here. There's you know plenty of interactive things and stuff like that, so we hope you enjoy your, your stay. I, I was there. I you were there. there. I was there. And that picture, I mean, of that stuff come up in about here. I mean, we were just freaking terrified. I can't believe it's still here. It's <laughs> amazing. Well, there are a lot of people that aren't. <laughs> they didn't make it. Because that's true. But thousands of people died. We got right. up to here. Yep. You know, and then it just. It's went. okay. I was there when it happened too. A lot of a lot of us lost our families. A lot of us fell ill in the cold. Can I have some? This is my last one. But go ahead. I'm trying to have an interview with a museum. <laughs> We're survivors, man. We're survivors. Calm it down. Calm it down. You know, you PTS, 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 Yes. Okay. You know. Post traumatic parts. Oh, no, no, that's my, you, you, you must have been diagnosed. Yeah, lots of people actually. Yeah, I'm diagnosed. Yeah. This is true. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's because it shakes, you know, and all that every once in a while. Especially when I hear a sound like some people make sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah? But he swung his arms. No, he didn't. 
next class presidents. Thank you. Any questions? You know, uh, if you guys want to discuss my bathroom policy or my, you know, my snack policy, any of that stuff? Mm -hmm. So, you think you're going to wear that hat tomorrow when you do this? <laughs> Make third grade great again? Of course I am. That's, that's my whole campaign slogan. I think you're either going to be lost on the people that don't get it, and lost for the people who do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what if, hold on, hold on, just, just, just stop the voting, stop the voting. Yeah, you know what, I, I don't know if I've clearly communicated my message. I think that, uh, I think you're still in character. Uh, it's like tomorrow. You know what, just the method, method is the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know what? I you know what? I just I think that my opponent, he just he, he can't provide for the third grade like I can. You know? You know, I, I just I have this vision. I have this vision of us all going into the fourth grade wiser and you know, just so much more well endowed and it, it can only be under my leadership, you know. I have this plan, I have this plan, we'll see, we'll see. You have to listen to him, man. The other guy running, he's gonna raise the prices of school lunch. I need my school lunch! Yeah, man, you what did you say <laughs> about Chris coming over after the school? You have to tell me before you do it. Oh. Uh, well, he's my campaign manager. <laughs> you know, every good third grade president needs a campaign Mr. Robinson! Mr. Jones, I know you two are part of the school of incredibly gifted third graders that talk at a college level. Thank However, <laughs> it is lunchtime and it's time for uh, your little cartons of milk. So here you go, here you go, and uh, enjoy your lunch time. You know what? When I'm class president, it's going to be chicken nuggets every day. And we're going to get brownies, each and every one of us. Well, so long as the milk turns chocolate, <laughs> you have my vote. Yeah, I'm not so much about the chocolate milk. I think uh, I think we'll stay with the white milk for now. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
scrub, I got my sponge. I'm ready to go. Okay. So, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Before we clean, there's something important we have to do. What's that? Did you grab the scrub daddy? Oh no. You forgot the scrub daddy? Oh no. How did you forget the scrub oh, daddy? No! Coaches are like, what's he doing? 
And then they're like, oh, I'm on the ground screaming. And then I had to drive 30 minutes to the nearest hospital. And they propped my feet up with what they found in my mom's car, which was just books, uh, maybe like a purse. And that was the worst pain I'd ever felt in my life. <laughs> So when you get to be a certain age, parts of your body start hurting that never hurt before. <laughs> and I woke up the day after Christmas two years ago, and I couldn't even move. I had no idea why. It took about three months to finally get to a specialist and then for them to figure out what was wrong. And you get these beautiful x-rays of your vertebrae and these discs that are bulging out, and then they explain that, you know, they might be able to inject that with, with a cortisone, and then it might resolve itself. But to do that, you have to go to this place where they put you on a table. And while you're laying on that table for about 45 minutes, they're filling you full of x-rays. And the doctor is watching this, the x-ray. And he's got a needle this long. And he's working it in there. And the best part of this, or the worst part, was that I could look up and see the same screen and watch exactly what he was doing. Wait, did you say cancer? Cancer. Oh, wow. Oh. 
hate, hate to break this to you, but uh, you know your grandma that had cancer? Yeah. She passed away at the disco. <laughs> <laughs>
you don't have to help me. Well, son, I, there's nothing that gives me more pleasure than helping you move your boxes. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm just, I just don't think I'm ready for you to go away to college yet. It's my little boy. <laughs> I'm ready.
Hey, would you put your gun away and stop arresting that guy? We're trying to look for criminals, all right? Okay, I'm sorry. You got sorry. important business. All right, break it up, break it up. Now get out of it. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. You're going to be going downtown with lips like that. Stop flapping and start walking. Yeah. We got to put a nose out for that guy. I think he's up something. See, people think because I'm older, my senses aren't as sharp. But I'm telling no! you, I don't no! miss the beat. Look at me, man! Would you cut it out? We're trying to do business tonight. Do you have a mosquito? <laughs> you have a white gun. She's the only blood. Exactly. He's got a knife in his hand. If we guys do one more job. time. Oh, now you're telling me to do my job. Do our job. I was looking for criminals out here all night. You got right, exhausted. Right, right under your big fat nose, there's one right oh, here. That's it. You're, you're out of line. You're out of line. You're out of line. You're out of line. <laughs> Thank you again and have a great night everyone.